Now, please, please, let me advise you. As a young man, as a young woman, grow large in your spirit. Grow very large. Give yourself to fasting. Give yourself to prayer now. Let me say amen. amen. So Jesus gave them some, new, some, some insights. The first thing Jesus said was about love. The if you, and it, it's an if. Because he said, I'm not sure. The issue of love for God cannot be overemphasized when you are relating with the invincible Jesus. Your link, the basis of his government and his regulation of your life is connected to your love, your passion. So he is revealing here that the proof that you love him is obedience not tears like many of us do during worship meanwhile we like seeing people cry anyway under the influence of heavy worship and you cry oh, but that tear the tears you shed is not a mark of love it, it will be in your interest to know that Jesus said hallelujah <laughs> Jesus said I'm going to leave you guys. You will not see me physically. They knew everything has changed. And in those days where I will be trapped in the spirit and I will not be physically present with you, the issue of love is critical. And the proof that you love me is that you obey me. The devil is going to try as much as possible for you to have something else you obey man was created as a creature of obedience that's how we are wired you obey something you must obey something yeah you know the other day i was just walking i decided to take a stroll from the hotel that i was in and i saw some guys they were just around very small small tables they had big big, big vase of beer and they were I, I was watching one in in he was just doing his, 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 his he, <laughs> he was in the mood unknown to him he was obeying something that's how we are wired you must serve something and according to the scriptures there are there are five possible things that you are likely to serve according to the scriptures they the scriptures uh, summarize it. It's either you serve the world, you serve sin, you serve Satan, you serve self, you serve mammon. Those, those are the five possible things. And they are there. They are weaved into your ecosystem. And that's the reason for sanctification. I need to explain some terminologies. Sanctification. What does it mean? It means that I'm separated unto God, so I give him the opportunity to saturate me. See, if you are not saturated, lust can drive you. If you are not saturated, want, covetousness can drive you. If you are not saturated, Satan's temptation can become a logical approach to life. So you will need to be saturated so that you are alive unto God. But that saturation does not take place until you separate yourself. Separation of self is that you accept that only God should operate my vessel. Now, please, please, let me advise you. As a young man, as a young woman, grow large in your spirit. Grow very large. Give yourself to fasting. Give yourself to prayer now.